Hello and welcome back. I am Miss Biz and this is Let's Play Western Skyrim. That's because it's Elder Scrolls Online and it is not Skyrim. So we have been speaking to Lyris and now it is time to hunt down an abandoned village somewhere? Abandoned lodge. Mm. Oh, it's somewhere in the mountains. Okay, so we are going in the right direction. Need to take a right up here. So weird they can like run up to the elk and all that in this game. They don't run away. Just been playing a lot of Zelda during the daytime. All right, definitely getting snowy. Definitely getting closer to the top. Is that? That's apparently not the abandoned. Are we sure? This really looks like it to me. No, this is just some weird altar. Weird. I'm sure someone knows. Is that something from Skyrim that they put in? Um, or is it... Maybe it has to do with a quest later on. I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody can answer me and tell me if it's from Skyrim, though. Whoa, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy. That was not fair. Not fair at all. We, me and my... Do I have anything over here? Hey, look at that. Look. Something else to murder you with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you a vampire? Isn't that a vampire thing? Okay. Oh. So, that was a bad enemy. Hey, look. Heavy sack. You always get the heavy sack. Alright. Now, let's see. Nice lodge. Um. Okay, he was the only dude here. Pentarch Zaros. Preparations are complete, my Breton brother. We are ready to begin the ritual. Send the latest shipment to Kilcreath Temple. Sister Ambriot will be putting everything to good use. Have you? You have done well. Hmm? Why do I get a feeling that the Nords are the shipment? Or do they? are they really talking about the, the illegal stuff? The target is not out of range. I'm right here. Well, I guess we're not uh, checking out that cupboard. Lyris, where are you? Hello? So spooky when there's crows around. We're going to be seeing a lot of crows during this playthrough. You'll see why next quest when I'm back on Ones. It's going to be so much fun. I feel like Lyris is nearby. Uh, oh, just a sec on my horse. There's that giant crouching down. Over here. Oh, took care of them, did you? All I found were these reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? The lodge was empty, but I found a letter from the Breton. Orders to send the shipment to Kilcreath. Kilcreath? The temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? Mm, the letter said they were ready to start the ritual as soon as they received the shipment. Damn, we're running out of time. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilcreath Temple and alert Meridia's priests. I'll meet War you there as soon as I can. Warn the priests? Shouldn't I attempt to stop the ritual? You'll be going up against the coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means. But don't take any unnecessary chances. I still don't want to lose another partner. Good okay. Luck. I'll see you at Kilgreath Temple after you warn the High King. Alrighty then. Um... How far away is this? Oh, there should be, be a path. And a lovely little way shrine to snag so we don't have to wander so far. Uh, is this the way shrine? Sure is. Whoa! Stop. A disaster has befallen Kilcreath Temple. <gasps> oh, not already. It's good to see you again, but what are you doing here? 
Have you followed the Draga Kin's plunder to this hold too? I was sent to warn the temple priests and find evidence of the Ice Reach Coven for the Queen. I'm sorry, but you're too late. Oh. The Coven unleashed their Harrow Storm, and now vampires and Harrow fiends are everywhere. Still, meeting you again is fortuitous. We worked well together, and I could use your help tracking down the Draugakin plunder. I have no idea whether this character would have worked with him. I have no idea. I didn't even know I quested on this character at all. Uh, what about the Draugakin plunder? The Draugakin were smuggling remains out of Bankarai and sending them here by way of Sentinel. The cargo arrived in solitude, but it wasn't clear who the shipments were for until I followed them here. They were destined for the Ice Reach Coven. I was tracking the shipments, too. That's what led me here to warn the priests. The temple. There may be survivors who could use your help. Meanwhile, if we can learn more about the ritual, we may be able to determine the way to stop them. At the very least, we need to figure out where they plan to strike next. You know, it's how this says might, and he said may. But anyways, what do you need me to do? I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the area, making it difficult to get close. Hence the need for your assistance. You see, I'm not that confident in my combat prowess. What exactly happened at Kilcrease Temple? The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrow storm on the temple. It struck without warning and evaporated as quickly as it began. But in its wake, it left behind harrow fiends. Innocent priests and pilgrims transformed into monsters. What's a harrow storm? That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. It's magical in nature. The result of some sort of ritual performed by the witches. I'm still investigating. But I think the harrow fiends are a byproduct of the storm. Interesting. Alright, so let's go find those witch pikes. Oh. Look, a priest of Meridia. Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple. I was looking at the scary vampire bear. Please, can anybody help us? Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna go help that priest out um, on Anes as soon as we're done this quest. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, uh, we can do this. We can do this. Let's do it. Oh, life is tough when you're just a little baby healer. Okay, good job. Good job, Biz. Good job, Belladine. An alchemical residue. That should prove useful. Okay, this is good. Useful is good. Uh, trying not to make everything mad, but I think it's too late. I'm so sorry. Honestly, you're probably going to get murdered at some point anyways, because I don't think there's anything we can do for you. Alright, we got more of them. Let's do this! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, we did it. It's depleted. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, we see some backpacks. Oh, and some dead people. The backpacks are nice, dead people not so much. Uh, maybe we can go around them and they won't notice us. Same? No? Different house. Different lodge for sure. Oh boy. Oh, owie. Come on, let's do a little more damage. Oh, please don't do that. Oh, thank you. Look at me earning fighter's guild. Can you feel the lingering energy? That's Daedric, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrowstorm. Now they're just ordinary sticks. But even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. Remind me, what did we learn by examining the depleted witch pikes? 
I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant role as focal points for the storm ritual. The prepared pikes are depleted as the ritual runs its course, but I sensed lingering energy, including a Daedric taint. And we found an intriguing residue. Okay. Uh, what's the significance of the residue? It's the remains of an alchemical poultice that was spread over the pikes. Smells like rotting fungus, doesn't it? With a little study, I should be able to identify each ingredient in its makeup. Then I can begin to understand the ritual. Should we take a closer look at the temple now? One other thing I want to check first. I noticed the pilgrims leading a cart away from the temple right before the storm hit. Coven members could have tried to slip away among the innocents. The cart should be along the road south of the temple. Alright, let's go check on the pilgrims. Oi. Oh, look at all this vampire stuff. Hello, vampire bear. Oh, are you... I can't really tell. There we go. Okay, lots of bears. I don't know if the bears are vampires. Uh, hello? How far? Oh, here's the cart. That wasn't far. Hi. Strange. They're alive but unresponsive. Check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items. Wouldn't they have taken them with them? Uh, dust and ashes? Did you find anything of interest in the crate? The crate was empty except for some dust and ash. I can't believe anyone knowingly involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm. Perhaps the pilgrims were tricked into transporting the crate. Or maybe it was slipped into their cart. Should we check on the temple now? Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. The temple was clearly at the center of the storm. Uh-oh. Regardless, there's still a lot we don't know about the effects of this ritual. Observing the target area could offer new insights. All right, let's head to the temple now. Uh, how far away is said temple? Not very far, but... What I'm wondering is how do you get to it? Oh, oh, pathway. <gasps> there we go. Temple, ooh. Hmm. Okay, temple is this way. Um, apparently those are some very sturdy sticks. Uh-oh. These are temple priests and pilgrims. It seems the storm killed them. Mm-hmm. I'll need to perform more tests. But from what we've seen, I believe the storm affects mortals in three distinct ways. It kills them, transforms them into harrow fiends, and leaves them mindless. I suppose I'd say it harrowed those poor pilgrims. So what do we do next? I want to learn more about the ritual and how it produces the harrow storms. And I need to confirm my theories about the storm's effects. I'll start by examining the residue from the witch pike to identify the components used to power the ritual. Okay, what do you need to examine the residue? My alchemical equipment. It's extremely fragile, so I left it in my pack. I hid it among a copse of trees once I saw all the vampires and herophines. Once I retrieve it, I can find a place to begin my analysis. Okay, let's go find your pack. Um, is it in, not in the temple? Okay, right. We're not going in the temple. Oh my goodness, why are those trees so sturdy? I really don't think they look as sturdy as they are. It's a little bit ridiculous. All right, we are just cutting on through. Uh-oh. Run! Run on your horse! Oh. That's close enough, Leech. Wait, wait! I'm not part of the coven! <laughs> yes, yes, Lyris, don't, don't murder him. Looks like I made it back just in time. This place is crawling with vampires, and that one was about to make a meal out of you. No, no, that's Venorian from House Ravenwatch. He's investigating the Ice Reach coven, just like us. House Ravenwatch. I've heard of them, but he's a long way from Rivenspire. Well, if you're willing to trust a vampire, I suppose I can too. 
I spotted a coven witch. If we hurry, we might be able to catch her. A coven witch? Where? On the cliff overlooking the temple. Calls herself Sister Embrit. I was going to rush her, but I wanted to make sure you hadn't run afoul of any of these monsters first. No offense, Fen. Come on. If we're lucky, the witch is still up there. Okay, I'll meet you up there. Perhaps I could question the witch before you introduce her to your impressive axe blade? <laughs> Um, are we... No? Okay. So, I'm thinking he's just gonna go digging around for his supplies forever. So, we now need to go find the witch. And we will absolutely scour this area and do all these side quests I'm seeing on Ane's. Unless Ane's already did them, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you guys don't mind if we miss out on side quests that she already did. Okay, we're just gonna run past you. All right. Not even Harold. It seems the ritual needs refinement. Kill her before she can summon another storm. Oh, I sure can do that. What is this? Oh, ow. The switch is mean. Oh, ow. I tried to get out of the way. It didn't quite work, though. Come on. I don't even know what my ultimate is here. It's weird looking. And I think it might be a healer thing, even though it doesn't look like it. All right, where are you coming? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, Warhorn. That wasn't me, but I do have that one. I hoped you could take her prisoner. No matter. I found something. This way? All right. Yeah, we're we're more of the brute type. I'm going to look around here. This uh, looks sketchy. Do you see? These are the same as the urns smuggled from Bankarai. Oh, I thought they were eggs. They didn't just shatter. They exploded. I can sense traces of magicka clinging to the shards that match the energy used in the storm ritual. These other fragments, though. Other fragments? All this rubble scattered around didn't just come from these urns. The texture and patterns are different. They appear to have used the funerary dust in the urns to summon the harrow storms. But I'm not sure what was inside the larger vessels. Larger vessels? Look at the shape of the fragments. They come from a hollow receptacle of some sort. Something at least as tall as you. Perhaps larger. Just another piece of the puzzle. Maybe when I analyze the witch pike residue, an answer will suggest itself. Come to solitude with us. There must be a place there where you can set up your equipment. Thank you, but no. I try to avoid large population centers. The temptation. You understand. <laughs> I'll find some place nearby, but out of the way where I can set up my equipment and work undisturbed. I'll send word when I have something to report. Okay. Do you have a location in mind? I met a clever woman who lives in the bog near Morthal. Old Mjolens, a dying breed among the Nords, a practitioner of the old magic. The locals both admire and fear her. If anyone can help me untangle the coven's ritual, it's her. Where is Morthal? Western Skyrim consists of three holds. Hothengar, Hjalmarch, and Karthald. Morthal is the capital of Hjalmarch. It's located southeast of Solitude, along the river Hjal. Old Mjolin lives in the marshlands nearby. Okay, well, what makes you think Old Mjolin can help? Mjolin's experience with the old ways and reach magic make her ideally suited to assist me in this endeavor. She's the closest thing to an expert we're likely to find out here. At least one who doesn't want to feed our eyes to a harpy. <laughs> that is true. Have you dealt with anything like this before? The Raven Watch has had to curtail rogue vampire clans. 
and put down feral blood fiends on occasion. But I've never dealt with anything like this before. People turning into harrow fiends or becoming mindless harrowed. It's a nightmare. Right. You had a theory about the effects of the harrow storm? Yes, but more research is required to confirm anything. Still, from what we observed here, it appears the harrow storm produced three distinct results in those caught within it. It turned them into harrow fiends. Okay, harrow we already knew that part. All right, Lyris, what's up? So, what did your vampire friend discover? He thinks the harrow storms create the harrow fiends and the harrowed. Reach witches summoning magical storms to create feral vampires? That's horrible, but to what purpose? Well, that's the next puzzle to solve. First, we need to get this information to the queen. Here. This was for Brondold, but it's yours now. Oh, all right. Thank you. Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kill Creek Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Spargrim. Do you have enough evidence to convince the king and queen of the danger? The queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Spargrim, who can tell? I haven't met the man, but everything I've heard describes him as prideful, arrogant, and hard-headed. Even with the queen's help, there's no guarantee. So, what do we do if High King Sovereign refuses to see us? Oh, there's anything else oops. We need to discuss. Okay. This is the quest that Anes has. So, it's okay. Because we're going to go listen to that beginning with Anes, because I'll drop it and restart it. But I think this calls for the end of this episode. And next episode, I'll be back on my main playing character, Anes, that you guys all know and love. So thank you for joining me, and I'm excited to hop back into this. <laughs> See you. Bye for now.